Well, that, that clock is counting down, so I better get started. As always, very first thing I'm going to do is always I'm going to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ is the reason why we live in this blessed and prosperous land. I don't care what anybody says. The United States of America is a Christian nation founded on the principles and wisdom of Jesus Christ. And so we give him thanks first and foremost above everything. So I've only got about 12 minutes, so we're going to get right into this thing, guys. I'm going to go ahead and tell you like this. Guys, it is time. It is time. And what is the time right now? The time is for patriots in this nation to stand up and reclaim who we are as Americans. To no longer let CNN and ABC and CBS and all those leftists on the other side of the aisle from us define who we are as Americans, as patriots, as Republicans. The time is now to define ourselves and stand up and do what we need to do because here it is. As I said many times, the proof is in the pudding. What conservatives have said about the left over the past 50 years at this present time is being tr proved true more than any other time in history. If you don't believe me, let's just take a look at the things that we always talk, talk about. Let's take a look, about that, look at that crucial issue of life. You look at it in New York City, up in New York, one of the greatest states in this, in this nation, they literally cheered for infanticide. At every turn, we see abortion being championed in this nation. Now with COVID, we see people being turned away for crucial medical uh, 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 procedures because they don't want to relent to some type of mandate. Life means nothing to those folks on the left, and they prove it every day. And in this time, they're proving it more and more. You take a look at that crucial issue of self-protection, of Americans being able to protect themselves. You know, we love to talk about the Second Amendment, but one thing we always forget is this. The Second Amendment is a God-given right. God gave us the right to self-defense, and it was enshrined by us in our declaration and set down in law by our Constitution. And I can guarantee you there are places around the world right now that wish they had a Second Amendment in their Constitution. Places like Australia where we've seen terrible things happening under what's become almost a totalitarian dictatorship. Places like just north of the border here in Canada under Castro. Uh, excuse me, I mean Trudeau. I forgot, uh, I forgot what decade I was in. Now more than ever, it's being proven that men need the right. People need the right. Free people need the right to be able to defend themselves and defend their freedoms. And then you look at the, the issue of education in this nation. You know, back in my home state of North Carolina, we are fighting tooth and nail in North Carolina to straighten out our education system. We spend almost half of our state budget on education in North Carolina and our children can't read at a grade level. Meanwhile, pornography is in our libraries. We're in classrooms teaching children about adult issues like transgenderism. And we're setting black children on one side of the room and white children on the other side and teaching them to despise each other. If ever there was a time for conservatives to stand up in this nation and fight back for our children, it is now, right now. Parents concerned about their children's education being called terrorists. Politicians who are standing against the evils in our schools being demonized. Folks, it's time to stand up and fight back. The time is right now. Then you take a look. Take a look at what's going on with our police officers and law and order in this country. Every time I turn around, there's another police officer being murdered, being assassinated, being assaulted being charged with something that they have not done. And the whole time, the crime rate is spiraling out of control. Why? Because the criminals are watching. The criminals are watching the politicians in their neighborhoods allow them to get away with anything they want to get away with, and they're watching some conservatives tuck tail and run on this issue. 
Now is the time for conservatives to stand strong on this issue and back the blue and make sure the police officers are protected as they do their jobs on the street. Then we need to take a look at what's going on with this thing called COVID. You know, COVID is the virus, but you know what the real virus is? The real virus is Democrats. The real virus is totalitarian leftist thugs who have used this virus to browbeat the American people and have used it for political purposes.